Hey everybody, Siki here, and I'm coming to you guys with another video. And per the use, this is a very exciting video for me. So what we're gonna do in this video, you guys, it is gonna be a get ready, well, should I say a get ready with me? Let's just call this video a drugstore haul slash try on. Technically get ready with me. I'm gonna show you some of the products up in here that I got from iCade House, and um, I'm gonna use every product in this box. Let's go through it really quick so you know what I'm using. So I'm gonna use this Cara palette. I've never ever even heard of this brand, but I saw that they had a few palettes on iCade House, so I was like, let's give it a try. So I'm gonna try to do like a smoky eye type situation, so we're gonna see how that works out. But this is the Cara palette. It is the ES08 35 color eyeshadow palette. This is Beauty Treats, and this is a blush palette right here. It is called Heart Love. I don't know which one we're gonna use today. Ooh, cause we need fall colors. I have never seen a red blush though. This is actually red. I don't know if that's coming off, but OMG. Oh gosh, it looks bright on camera, but it's a little bit deeper than what it's looking. I'm looking at my monitor. So, ooh, that's pretty pigmented though. Let's see. Wait, does it say blush or does it say eyeshadow? Yeah, yeah, we going in today. That's pretty pigmented for a blush though. And then I'm gonna try this little five pack of Ardell lashes. I like to recycle, so I'm sure I'm gonna get a lot of uses out of these. And I've been seeing this product in a lot of videos. This is the LA Girl Pro Primer. It's an eyeshadow primer. So I'm definitely gonna try that today because I've been hearing that this baby works. So I wanna put it to the test. Then I got a Milani, a more matte lipstick. And this is in the color Sugar. This is one of them that I do not have. So I was like, let's test that baby out. And then these look really promising too. These are the Nikka K contour palettes. And look at those. I mean, some really deep colors, you guys. So I'm interested in trying it. To be all the way real, I will probably be using this one because y'all know I don't contour heavy. I got some glitter and I got some pigment. Oh, you guys, I got this NYX powder. Now I have this, but I have it in a different shade. And the shade is a little like red for me. So I wanted to try this one. This is the HD Studio Photo Genic powder, powder foundation, and I got the color Tawny. I was like, let's try that one. Cause I think last time I got Chestnut, so I was like, let's see how Tawny works. And I think that Tawny will be very promising. I mean, I don't know, maybe a little light. I don't know why everything is coming off a little light, but powder, even though it seems a little light, I still may be able to get away with it. We're gonna test it out. And another thing, when I did my corrector video, you guys were telling me that NYX has like some correctors. And so I picked up a couple and let me see here, hold on. This one is medium and this one is deep. And I think that I could get away with both of them. But I think today, I don't know. I may try one on each side, who knows? You know how we get down in these videos. And then I got a liner, a Nikka K liner, but we may not use a liner today because I plan on doing a smoky eye. And then I have a nude liner from Nikka K. We may not use that either. I need to see how I feel about it. Did you guys know that LA Girl has like a banana powder? I saw that and I was like, I must test it out. I don't want to spill it, but we're definitely gonna try that out because I didn't even know they had a banana powder. Y'all already know about the LA Girl concealers, which this one is in the color Fawn. And then the LA Girl pencils, which I already had these brow pencils, but I'm definitely gonna try them out today. Now, do y'all remember this right here? This is an Odie but goodie. I should have waited to do a throwback on this right here, but I have a video on it. And this is the Kiss New York BB cream, beauty bomb, aqua BB cream, like the bomb. Y'all, it's been a long time. It's been a long time. I shouldn't have left you. Like, we're gonna use this again. But I used to rock the shade medium. So that is what I picked up. We're gonna see. So there's another item that I picked up from the drugstore that I did not get from iCade House, and it is called Milani Retouch and Erase Concealer. But iCade House does sell Milani products, but this is fairly new, so maybe they'll start selling it. But this is in the color Honey, and I believe this is the darkest shade they have, but don't quote me, this is what I saw in the store. So you guys, let's dig in. Probably should have used the darker one, but we're gonna roll with this today because I don't want to go too dark. Now I'm going to prime my lids, and I am using the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. However, they do sell the e.l.f. primer, but they were out of stock, so we're going to roll with Too Faced. Now you guys know that I use my fawn for my eyebrows, and if you don't know, now you know. I love to scope underneath. I'm going to try to zoom on through here. Oh my gosh, I usually use my big mirror, guys. This is like, oh my gosh. Then I just take one of my brushes, this is, what is this? Oh, this is, oh, this is my MAC brush. I don't remember what number it is, but I have to use, yeah, I gotta use my brushes, y'all. So I just kind of blend that out a little bit, and then I blend it out with my finger. Like, this is like 
start to finish makeup tutorial. But I'm gonna try to do a real simple look because I'm not trying to have this video be like 50 minutes long. Then I'm gonna take the palette that I have in my hand, which is my e.l.f. palette, the foundation palette, and I actually use this color to sculpt on top because it's more like my skin tone. You know what though? That um, LA Girl powder, I'm not powder, that LA Girl pencil is not too shabby because it doesn't really look like I used a pencil. It almost looks like I used a powder. Mm. We're gonna just use the same color fawn to mute out the discoloration on my lid. Set that with this NYX powder because I just like to set, whenever I put a concealer or something, I like to set it with a powder. I'm still gonna put a base on. You don't have to double dip it like this, but that's just how I get down. Now let's go into this primer, this HD primer by LA Color. This is the new color. And I heard that this stuff dries really quick. Now this is just to make the eyeshadow stay and to make it pop. Oh, you can really blend it good, okay think I'm oh and I think this palette is like $16.99 so this color looks kind of like cocoa bear so I'm gonna go into that for the crease and then actually I'm gonna do my lid first oh my gosh I don't know if I want to use this burgundy color if I want to use that color right there <sighs> let's go with this color let's make it a little more cranberry so I'm just gonna pack it all on oh I think I love he that's a pretty cranberry color. These colors are pretty pigmented. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm gonna be matchy matchy because this is the lippy I'm wearing. Oh, well, I don't mind. I don't mind if you don't mind. But I'm gonna go into that and see how that works. If that doesn't treat me right, I'm gonna go into the one that looks like Cocoa Bear. Oh, I think I like that. And then just kind of blend that harsh edge out. Hmm. You guys know, I like to show you, I like for you to see stuff in action and not just tell you about it because that way you can make your own decision on if you like it or not. You get what I'm saying? I don't like a pink highlight. I like it to be more of like a peach type color or I'll even take like a yellowish color, but there we go. That gets me better. Although now it looks a little bit pinky. The final way I'm gonna attempt to fix this is I'm gonna use the powder, the NYX powder. Let's try that and see if it brings back some of that like golden yellow. I totally forgot to get a highlighter. So either we're gonna use a city color highlighter or we're gonna use an LA girl highlighter because I told you, drugstore. So we're gonna keep a drugstore. But first, let's get these lashes. Okay, so let that dry a little bit. I think I'm gonna put a little liner right here. But the slickage is real, y'all see the slickage? So now I'm gonna use this primer by The Bomb, One Heck of a Blot. Now I did not get this from Icade House, I actually got this from the drugstore because the primers that I was looking at, they were actually out of stock. So I'm still trying to keep a drugstore. So I'm gonna go for deep and I'm gonna put the deep under my eye. Yeah, that's not as deep as I thought it would be. I think I thought it would be a little more orange. We're gonna stick it out, we're gonna go through with it. Now, this BB cream, it's been a long time. Reunited and it feels so good. <laughs> I promise, I feel like my skin has changed seriously because I don't remember this being this red on me, but I'm about to make this work, you watch. This is probably a summer color, but we're gonna work it out. Now we're gonna try this Milani concealer. I'm actually gonna put it on a brush cause I'm scared to just put it right on my face. Oh. Oh Lordy guys, that is bright. Oh dear Lord. Still hope, there's still hope. Let's blend it out. Let's try to save that. I'm gonna use the LA Girl Fawn concealer. Cause when I put that banana powder, Oh, I don't know what that's gonna do, so I'm scared. I think that's still maybe a little light because of the color that I used at first, but we'll fix it. Don't panic, don't panic. Can we fix it? Yes, we can. Now, I've never tried this powder before, let alone these concealers. Well, the Fawn concealer, yes, but here we go. Banana powder by LA Girl. Oh, it's similar to the concealer color, so. Okay. But I am gonna try this with the colors that I usually use and I'm gonna let you guys know how I like it. Now you guys know that I'm the contour queen when it comes to my NYX for my nose. So this is in the color deep. Just gonna put that baby right on here. Now let's go into that NYX powder and see how that works out. I have a very unique skin color and sometimes it's hard to match. 
but I'm going to go over that highlight just a little bit so that it doesn't look like stark white. Well, not stark white, but so it blends out. I think I'm going to use this one on this side. Yeah, that's good enough for me. This beauty treat situation right here, we're gonna go very, 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 very minimal. Light hand, oh my Lord, that's even too much. Hold on, just a little bit, woo! That stuff is pigmented. So blend it out, cause listen, I don't need that much. I'm gonna use the City Color Highlighter. It is, I believe it is an eyeshadow palette actually. I think it is. Yeah, it's an eyeshadow palette. I think it's called Timeless. So I'm going to use that shade right there and we are going to highlight. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Huh? No, I'm just kidding. I'm thinking about taking my face powder and going over that so that it's not so bright. I think we're going to do that and I should have done that before we did the highlight. But the highlight is all the way right. And not only am I going to take that on my cheeks, but I'm actually going to put that in my inner corner as well. And put it on until your little heart's content, guys. Let's go back into this face powder and go underneath. I feel like that is much better. Whenever you feel like you've done too much, like your highlight is too popping, or it's like you feel like you're gonna get flashback or something like that, just go over it with your face powder. See, you guys see the difference? I totally do, and I'm glad about it. Let's put on this lippy by Milani. This is called Sugar. Sticky beauty, confidence is key. You know what I mean. Uh -huh. A woman feels good when she's looking pretty. Yeah. I don't need no Benz, Lexus, or a Range Rover. Just give your girl a bomb, Sticky beauty makeover. Hey. Confidence is key, ladies, you know what I mean. Or maybe her eyeshadow and mascara will help you see. Yeah. Check out her foundation and the blush on her cheek. Yeah, we ain't playing games, it's the Sticky beauty. Yeah, Sticky beauty. Yeah. 